What up guys? Happy New Year uh, and all that good stuff. I'm sorry I've been out for a little, or a couple months. Uh, crazy stuff going on, so I haven't had a really great chance to do, sit down and do any real reviews. And um, I wanted to put something together real quick just so you know I could keep, I'm still alive. And then I will have more reviews coming up soon. I've just been moving around, so it's been kind of tricky. But I wanted to do a holiday beer kind of just, I don't know if you want to call it summary or something like that. But I've got a couple of beers that I just had uh, gone through the last couple of days. I'll just show them off right now. I've got the uh, uh, Rogue Santa's Private Reserve. It is a Belgian style dark ale. And the dogs are going on a shaking spree or whatever. Um, I got Abida's Christmas Ale, a mixture between Dogfish Head and Woolricks. It's Pennsylvania Tuxedo, and then just a Lion Kugel's Snowdrift Vanilla Porter. But anyways, one thing I've been noticing the last couple years, especially this year, um, but it, it kind of started last year, but the holiday, like the winter, Christmas, seasonal beers have always, 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 always been my favorite seasonal beers. If you've watched my channel before, you'll know that I'm kind of always talking about that, the Christmas seasonal. I, I like them because they have that, um, the, the spices of like the holidays that when you drink it, it tastes like the holidays. Like a, um, you have your cinnamon and um, like coriander or Old Spice, maybe not that one. Uh, a spice kind of thing, a uh, nutmeg, you know, those kind of spices that you, you'll get included in a lot of the beers and it's just whenever I would have one of those it just tasted like Christmas, it tasted like winter, it tasted like all that stuff and I have to admit, I don't know what's going on, I have not had any of that. Last year I think I, I might have had one or two and then the most others were just kind of not necessarily that they were bad, but they just didn't fall into that, that kind of category. This year, I haven't had a single beer that really kind of checks off those spice boxes. And I like I don't know what's going on. Like, okay, one, I'll, I'll just go through the beers that I, that I just recently had and kind of... Um, Line and Kugel, I knew that wasn't going to be a, like a winter thing. I was just excited that Line and Kugel did something besides a shandy. And I mean, back in the day, they used to. They had some. They had some great pre-shandy beers. There's like, there's an autumn ale, which was fantastic. But they don't. I don't think they even make that anymore. If they do, it's they kind of tuck it away behind all the shandies that they got going on. And so, I mean, this one was fine. And then I had uh, the the Rogue Santa's Private Reserve. I had the biggest hope for this to taste like a a um, you know a spiced seasonal beer. But it's a Belgian style dark ale, and that's really all it tasted like. There's, I mean, there's that. Then there's the uh, the Dogfish and Wolverick uh, Pennsylvania Tuxedo, and if you haven't had it before, it's a ale, a pale ale brewed with Pennsylvania spruce tips. It, it just tastes like a like a, an IPA, a not super hoppy, but it, it tastes. Like an IPA because it has that like piney kind of taste to it. There's already a, a hint of bitterness in it because it's a nail. And then you have the pine kind of spruce tips. It, it, that's all it tastes like. And I gotta be honest, I don't even remember what the Christmas ale tasted like, but it was just a lot of these beers just they taste like something that they had experimented with at a different time of the year. They didn't know when to release it. And so look, Christmas season, it's a stamp. Santa Claus on it, or a tree, or something, and boom, Christmas. But I, maybe, I don't know if you guys have noticed this, but it's something I have. I don't know what's happening with the Christmas winter seasonal beers. They're kind of going away. And I'm gonna keep digging them up. I'm gonna keep trying to find out, uh, try as many as I can over the next couple weeks when, you know, I think the, the spring beers will start hitting the end of January, beginning of February. And I don't know, it's it's kind of real disappointing. I don't know if just the continued flooding of so many micro beers are, is just making it much more difficult to find that kind of beer. But I gotta say, I've been real disappointed with that, that Christmas seasonal thing because it's, again, it's always been what I've looked forward to. 
that's one of my, my favorite things about the holiday season. It's that that spice. It's like if you've ever had um, what the the mold or the mold wine. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Where you take the wine and you boil it with some cinnamon sticks and sugar and brandy and like orange peels, and you get this really it's an amazing like warm drink that again tastes like the holidays. I just, I just want my holiday beer and I haven't found it yet. So I want to know what you guys think. I don't know. Maybe I'm just crazy. Maybe I just haven't had the right beers for this season. Um, but let me know. Have you guys found that over the last couple years, especially this year, the your typical like winter or, or holiday spices aren't being included in the beers? I'd love to know if maybe you guys have found if that's the case, maybe you've had ones that that's not the case. Maybe I'm just swinging and missing on the beers that I'm grabbing. I don't know. But if you could let me know in the comments, that'd be great. Again, I just uh, I just wanted to do a quick kind of thing to to throw up on the uh, the, the station on the channel. I again I'm I moved. I'll be moving again in the next couple months, so it's been kind of uh, tricky to get a like a thing set up. I haven't had the, the time or the as you can see, I just got like a half-built bike and then other junk. But um, yeah, let me know what you think in the comments. I'd love to know um, what winter beers you're drinking. Maybe you've just discovered that there's some great seasonal beers that I just haven't had. Let me know which beers those are and I'll try to track those down and hopefully start getting more reviews up in the next couple of weeks. But anyways, that is uh, my little spiel rant or whatever. But I hope you guys have had a great holiday season. I hope you're... Uh, um, just having fun for the New Year's. I hope your New Year resolution was to try more great beer and to let us all know about it. And I will try to sh spread the word of those great beers on this channel as well. So anyways, take it easy guys. See you in a little bit.